Now at noon, while we're starting to see less infections and hospitalizations from coronavirus, a new strain some say is more contagious is spreading across the state and here in Central Florida. First, though, we're following some breaking news at noon. The governor just announced he's opening the vaccine to law enforcement, firefighters, and teachers 50 and above. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Warmoth. And I'm Bridget Ellison. Today marks one year since the governor officially declared a public health emergency in Florida. At the time, leaders said the immediate threat to the public remained low. Over the weekend, the governor made the vaccine more available to people under 65 who are considered extremely vulnerable. News 6's Mark Lehman explains how doses will be given out to this group. When it comes to vaccines for those considered high risk, from the beginning, the issue has been access. With the governor's order expanding it to pharmacies like this one, it means it should be much easier for those in that group to get the protection they need. This is a huge expansion of access uh, to the COVID vaccine for medically vulnerable people younger than 65. State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith reacting to this executive order released late Friday by Governor Ron DeSantis. It means doctors, nurses, and pharmacists will will be able to vaccinate people they deem extremely vulnerable to COVID-19. Uh, up until this point, uh, really the question has been about access. Uh, it's not been about eligibility. In recent weeks, Guillermo Smith has been pushing for the expansion for high risk groups. Previously, those considered eligible could only get the shots at hospitals. Now, Walmart and Publix pharmacies are included. Uh, it's actually transformational because it means they actually have a shot at the shot now. But the big question is what documentation is needed. It's something that wasn't specified in the order. However, Guillermo Smith says it should be something as simple as a doctor's note. If you are medically vulnerable to COVID, younger than 65 with a doctor's note, you are eligible to get the vaccine. As for booking an appointment, that's something that can still be very difficult because of the demand. Publix reopened its online vaccine portal this morning and all of the slots in Central Florida filled very quickly. For now, reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.